I'm not a, a broad expert. I come to AI from the cancer diagnostics world, but in that in that regard, I have you know certainly taken the time to learn as much as I can. Um, I think it's it, without a doubt it's going to play an extraordinarily important role. I, I just think in the in the healthcare world, uh, it is going to play an extremely important ancillary tool to allow uh, physicians and nurses and nurse practitioners to maximize their effectiveness to the benefit of, of the physician. I suspect that virtually everyone here in the room today, here in the room this morning or watching the show at home has had the shock and anguish of hearing from a f close friend or loved one that they were diagnosed with advanced cancer. The prognosis is usually bleak. The uh, treatments are typically toxic, rarely effective and quite expensive. But what most people don't appreciate is that cancers by and large are not lethal with few exceptions. Metastasis is lethal. In lung cancer, the number one cancer killer in most of the world, the five-year survival rate for an early stage a tumor is, is close to 90%. On the other hand, if you wait until the, that cancer spreads, metastasizes, that survival rate plummets to three or 4%. Our mission is to help bend the curve of cancer mortality in North America and around the world through early detection. Our approach is very unique. We take a large data sets from uh, parts of the world where cancer screening is common, most particularly the Far East, and improve them using machine learning algorithms. We Right now our products include a blood test for the early detection of lung cancer and an algorithm that is now available in the United States and will be available this summer in China, which has the largest lung cancer population in the world because of heavy smoking and air pollution and will soon be available also in Japan. What we do is we take biomarker values using the standard biomarkers that they test around the world, combine it with clinical factors, age, gender, smoking history, prior diseases, and using machine learning, deep learning neural networks, artificial neural networks, we give a much more accurate determination of whether or not that patient has the likelihood of a cancer at that time and we, we, we show statistically which cancers need to be followed up. The valuations of our close competitors, these are essentially pre-revenue publicly traded companies, average about hundred and twenty million dollars. That's about five times our current valuation so we think there's a, a tremendous opportunity for a relatively near-term liquidity opportunities for those that invest in our company. We are the first company to apply artificial intelligence machine learning to the type of, of cancer blood bi biomarker screening that is, that is done literally tens of thousands of times a day, particularly in the Far East. So we have a very scalable business model. We really have a, a bi-disciplinary team. We, we have the, the cancer diagnostic side and the computer science analytics side. Who's going to pay at the end of the day? Is your customer the consumer? Is it the HMO? Is it the insurance company? That's sort of question one. And question two, since it's so early in the process, I don't know I have cancer, what's going to motivate me to take this test in North America if we don't normally take the test? 
The motivation, if I take your last question first, is to, to literally save their life. Right now, our model is direct to consumer, and we are finding that for the lung cancer test in the United States, about 80% of people who, who find us are willing to pay $149 out of pocket. You didn't point out what, what was the purpose of the capital to put 2.5. What do you need it for? Most of the, it's, it's mostly going to sales and marketing. Uh, we are also uh, working to bring the, the multi-cancer test, the pan-cancer test to market. So those are the two main uses of the capital that we're seeking to raise. Just a quick one. You said that you have global patent. Yeah, we, we have internet. Yeah, we have patent protection uh, right now issued in the United States and pending worldwide for the algorithms. We have a number of issued patents, but specifically for these algorithms, it's right now pending, mostly pending worldwide. All right, thanks for uh, sure. your presentation. Sure. And uh, we'll be meeting in the boardroom to let you know what uh, our conclusion is. We were impressed with your presentation. Uh, there's a couple of things that uh, we want to, first of all, address. Mm -hmm. And that is the, the 2.5 million that you were requiring. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to take a look at how you would go about using it, first of all. But prior to us doing that, we wanted to have you prove the model of having a user pay that 149 that you were talking about for the, the actual service that you would provide. Once we've seen that being proven, we can then look at how we could play, uh, we can come in and participate with you. At this stage, however, we're just not too sure that there is any security for our capital. Okay. That's the biggest challenge that we're having. May I suggest maybe a possible structure that sure. might comfort you? And I, I don't know what you, if you were, if we had proven our, our, our self-pay revenue model to your satisfaction, what? level of investment would you be comfortable with, if I may we ask? We can do the 2.5, it's not an issue. Okay, c could I then maybe propose the following arrangement? What if you were to take 10% uh, of that, just pick, pick a number, uh, 250,000, do, do sort of a, a first tranche, we agree on a set of terms, give us a period of time, we, we, reach, we mutually agree on a set of milestones. We, 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 we negotiate a, a reasonable uh, uh, yeah, timing and, and, and numbers and so forth, and then you would then invest the balance. Are you doing the right thing by even playing in the United States or playing in Canada? Or shouldn't it be betting the majority of, of, of your time and efforts in China? I think that clearly uh, China, Korea, Japan will be easier for us to penetrate because once again we are improving something that they're already doing and have done for the past 100%. 10 years. Yeah. And, and your point is well taken. Even if hypothetically we were to fail miserably in North America, the, what we're doing in, in the Far East by itself will give you the returns I think you're looking for. I like this proposal. Uh, you know, percentage of what we were willing to invest anyways and then take a look and see how, what, what kind of rate of return uh, is doable. Yeah. And uh, subject to some due diligence stuff, I think that okay. I think that we have a deal. Great. All in all, I had a real good day. Uh, I was pleased with my reception by the judges. I think we are uh, close to coming up with a transaction that will be very good. It'll be a win-win. So all in all, I think I had a really good day. <laughs>